The Tripolian pirates took over many American ships in the Mediterranean Sea from May 14, 1801 to June 4, 1805 because of America's refusal to pay tribute to trade with the Barbary states. The war helped on the long road of creating and establishing the U.S. Navy, the Constitution, and helping abolish piracy once and for all, the frontier of a century. The war was fought during Thomas Jefferson's presidency. Jefferson was a major part of starting this war due to his newfound Belicost personality. During this presentation, we'll talk about how the First Barbary War, also known as the Tribulation War, was our frontier in history by explaining the pioneers and their ideas, and how they changed history's course. On September 3, 1783, the Seven Year War for Freedom ended, leaving America with both freedom and with trouble. America didn't exactly thrive right after the war. We were a new country with much financial debt and no official military. We needed help, and unfortunately, we had just lost our main source, our ex ruler, Great Britain. In the year 1787, the U.S. Constitution was signed. The convention approved the Constitution on September 17, 1787, and it was ratified on July 2, 1788, when nine states had to approve it. These rules were new and a little rough around the edges, but were officially introduced to America after the Barbary Wars. Pirates have been a problem for all countries around the world for many centuries. Some countries over the centuries have created alliances and treaties with the pirates for safety to use their shores. The way these alliances and treaties were acquired was a paying tribute to the pirates. The tribute always depended on how much the pirates wanted and occasionally the pirates of course weren't loyal and broke those treaties. Jefferson had been trying for many years to make peace with the pirates but they always refused those peace opportunities. Therefore, Washington paid the tribute no matter how big until Jefferson became president. Pirates were official agents of the Berber states in North Africa. They took whatever they wanted from passing ships by viciously attacking and taking crews prisoner and selling some into slavery in the Barbary states. Little did America know that we would be their next victims. The war officially began on May 14, 1801, due to Jefferson's refusal to pay tribute again after so many years of paying. The pirates began by taking, destroying, and pillaging American ships. Over 122 slaves and about 11 American ships were taken over the four years of war. This is the first war America fought since gaining their independence. The war took place along the coast of pirate states, Tripoli, Algiers, Tullus, and Morocco, and all of the Mediterranean. There were many pioneers during the events of the war. Those pioneers were Thomas Jefferson, Edward Pebble, William Ian, and Hamet. These people all helped to make this war a frontier by creating new ideas and breaking through historical walls. The Americans and pirates fought for four years from 1801 to 1805. Jefferson was committed to winning this war, but he wanted to win in a cheap way. He gathered strong men to fight against the pirates, and during this war, he created the U.S. Navy and developed the U.S. Constitution. They worked hard to win and used whatever resources available to do so. They had military allies and distributors of their weapons that helped them win this long battle. was a new and undeveloped country, but Jefferson didn't let that affect him. Just because we didn't have too much money didn't mean we were just out of luck. Jefferson made himself an army. Jefferson spent an estimated two million on his navy, but evidently it paid off. Jefferson's navy took back all the ships that had been taken by the Barbary pirates, got all of their crews out of the slave system, and finally ended the war by signing a treaty and agreeing to pay the original tribute instead of the raised one. 
Jefferson finally created the unified nation he had longed for and even more. He was a fierce, brave, and incredible leader while doing it. Once the war was won, America hoisted the flag and for the first time, it America had won. America was in great economic debt and had nothing going for them. They fought a long, hard battle to come out where they were. We still had great debt, but our nation was stronger in so many ways. We had an official military, we had the Constitution, we had a united nation. Jefferson changed the nation and brought it together. the First War, the American nation changed a lot, but the pirates' habits hadn't changed at all. What I mean by this is that the pirates kept pillaging and destroying ships all over the world and eventually led to another war. This war was called the Second Barbary War. The events were... The capital was burnt during the War of 1812, after the First Barbary War. British troops arrived in Washington after defeating American troops on August 24, 1814. The British troops then set fire to many major federal buildings throughout the city. The British troops set fire to buildings such as the President's House, the Capitol, and the Treasury Building. In the year 1814, the Treaty of Ghent was signed on Christmas Eve, which ended the war. The government then rebuilt on the original sites. The Barbary Wars had many successes and failures that led to new things in history being breached. There are many pioneers such as Thomas Jefferson, Edward Preble, William Ian, Hemet, and many more. These are some examples as to how the Barbary War was a frontier. By the end of all the Barbary Wars, America developed into a united nation and made many allies. We fought a long, hard battle and had a good leader to lead us while doing it. And the war helped on the long road of creating and establishing the U.S. Navy, Constitution, and helping abolish piracy once and for all, the frontier of a century. And none of it would have been possible without Jefferson and the great leaders that came before him.